I will cover a topic which is called the position detail keyword. I have already made one basic uh, understanding video on the position detail keyword uh, previously. If you haven't watched this video, please go and watch the first video because this is more like a continuation of that video. Uh, and you may not understand anything if you do not watch the previous video. So um, assuming you've watched the video, let's get into it. So position detail keyword can be used for very, very dynamic things. Let me explain to you a couple of cases where we can use position detail. So um, this is the first example that I will use position detail for. As you can see, I have used position detail and in this I have selected all, all quantity of Nifty 50 as zero. Now I will use this whenever I want to check that there is no open position in the strategy. This is because all the open position, like whenever I check for all the quantity, if the overall quantity is zero, this means that there is no open position in the strategy. So this can be used at a point when you feel that uh, you, you want to basically check if there is no open position and only then you, you want to trigger a trade. Along with this, you can also use something like this, wherein you change the condition type to entry. Now, this is a second example. In your you are now allowing the strategy to take an entry uh, only one time. So let's assume you have, uh, you have let's say, a, a, a set and you have something like a time condition. So as you can see out here, time condition. So I have used a condition saying time greater than 920. If in case uh, the strategy takes an entry and after that both the, both the stop losses or whatever of that uh, instrument gets exited. In this case, what happens is that since my time is let's say 10 o'clock and my exit has happened, there are no there are no open positions, which means the entry will be checked again. And since it is 10 o'clock, 10 is more than 920, this means that again a trade will be taken. Now, if I want to reduce this kind of a situation, what do I do? I will use position detail where I will check entry all all quantity of Nifty 50 is equal to zero. This way, I will be able to restrict that only if the entry is zero, in that case, you take a trade. Now, what happens is that let's assume it's the first trade of the day. If the if it's the first trade and it is taken an entry and let's say it's it's sold your call option and put option. Now uh, the system will fetch that the entry uh, entry instrument is basically minus 100. It will be minus 100 because it has sold one lot of call option. So minus 50 and one lot of put option, which is another minus 50. So now it is not possible that your entry will again be zero since the entry is not again zero of position detail. Um, it will not be able to take a second trade, but you need to make sure that you don't have multiple sets. So let's assume if you have one more set, like uh, in this case, I have only one set, but let's assume you have one more set and in that set, you're taking a buy trade. All right. So you're taking a buy of, let's say Nifty um, with, uh, with whatever, uh, let's say uh, one quantity of Nifty. In that case, what happens is that since this is again an entry condition, you are you are checking for position detail with entry all 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 being z numbers uh, number zero. Now it is possible that after your sales happened out here your sell happened, so the position detail uh, entry of all the instruments becomes minus hundred. Now since you are making another buy out here, it is possible that your buy will uh, will 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 uh, will cause the number to be changed from let's say minus hundred. And since you are taking two buy trades, uh, let's assume I have two different buy trades out here. Since you are taking two buy trades, the strategy will consider the minus 100 and the plus 100 and therefore make it zero. So since since this this uh, position detail will again uh, again equate to zero, it will take a re-entry in this case. So in order to prevent such a case, um, what you can do is that you can check on a option specific level. So let's assume I am using a uh, position detail entry all all all. Instead, I will use entry and I will select my transaction type as sell. So now this will restrict the strategy uh, from, from taking a re-entry uh, re in this particular set because I am basically checking entry sell all quantity of Nifty 50 has to be zero. This way, let's say if I'm taking a buy position out here, this buy, this buy, even though it is in the entry condition, it is a buy trade. And since it is a buy trade, it will not be allowed to get through with my position detail filter. And since it is not allowing my, since the position detail filter doesn't allow it and it's not captured it, it will, it will, uh, it will return a number minus hundred out here. And thus your position detail keyword will work properly. Um, 
another uh, another unique case where you can use position detail would be um, a case where you can uh, use something like this so in position detail i will select uh, let's assume i i have a case wherein i want to uh, i have uh, a strategy wherein i have one set uh, i have two different sets set 1 is for call and set 2 is for put now let's assume i want my strategy to be built in such a way that only if my call square off happens only then the put has to take a reentry which means that either set 1 can be active or set 2 can be active any one can be active at, at a given point uh, set 1 can take a trade only if set 2 has taken an entry and exited and vice versa if set 2 has uh, taken an entry and exited only then set 1 can take an entry in that case what i can do is i can use position detail and in position detail i'll use my uh, i'll keep uh, condition type as all transaction type as all and in my instrument i'll select call out here now what this does is that this will basically uh, this will basically check for all the calls in the uh, in the strategy so if there are zero open positions in calls in that case my position detail will allow a strategy to take place uh, sorry I, it will allow a entry to take place um uh, similarly you can in the second set you can use uh, position detail uh, for put so i will use something like position detail and i'll select all i'll select transaction type as all and instrument will be put so and again i'll select quantity out here so in this i will again select nifty 50 and now i'll select zero out here so if my position detail of all the put is number 0 only then i will take a trade so this way you can ensure that only if my call uh, call positions are zero or if my put positions are zero there is no open position and call or no open position and put in that case only in that case my position detail uh, will will allow my trade to execute um another another way that you can use position detail would be where you select uh, where you want to ensure that one particular set has taken a trade so how can we do something like that so in that case one one method to to achieve that would be um, let's let's assume uh, uh, let's assume i want to build a logic wherein i want to make sure that set 1 has taken an entry and it has taken an exit as well so there is no open position in set 1 so i will use a keyword saying position detail all all quantity of nifty is equal to number 0 so this will take care that my uh, that there is no open position in my entire strategy now i want to also ensure that uh, that my position uh, that my set 1 has taken an entry in that case what i will use is that i'll select position detail and i will select entry out here and along with entry in my transaction type Uh, i will check let's say uh, something like uh, sell and my instrument will be uh, all and i'll select my underline as nifty 50 now in your i will select not equal to so this sign is not equal to and i'll click copy number and paste so now this this position detail will now check for all the cells so if if i have my set 1 where my set 1 is taking a sell if i have a set 1 and if my set 1 is taking a sell and uh, the the sell has already been executed this is being checked by this part of the position detail and the second part of position detail which is this this part is checking if all the open positions are zero that means that it has take it has taken an entry and it has already taken an exit only then the strategy will continue to check uh, will will be able to check for my set 2 uh, entry trades one more way of using position detail is where you want to uh, you want to allow uh, a certain uh, uh, you want to allow only a certain number of uh, re entries so let's assume that uh, my set 1 is taking my my entry and after that my set 2 is basically uh, there to have a re entry logic now i want to allow only let's say two re entries in this case what i can do is i can uh, build a logic wherein it is checking for my um for my entry condition for my entry trade to have taken place in my set 1 and along with this i'm also checking if my uh, entry uh, if my position detail I'll, i'll add a group out here and out here i will also check if my position detail is equal to number and i'll select something like minus 50 or oh, sorry minus 100 
so this this basically will ensure that my uh, entry has happened uh, has happened in my set 1 and uh, and now my set 2 can take a trade uh, along with that let's say if i want to ensure that set 1 has taken an entry uh, and along with that it has taken an entry two times so there have been like it's taken an entry then it has taken an exit then again it has taken an entry and again taken an exit uh, only then i can i i i will allow my set 2 to take a trade in this case i will again copy my position and i will select equal to your and i will select number as something like minus 200 so this means that in in my uh, in my first time when the entry was triggered in uh, in set 1 it will be minus 100 and in my second time when the entry was triggered it will be minus 200 so this way set 2 is only allowed to take a, take an entry if the set 1 entry has happened at least one time and up to two times so this way you can add some kind of restriction as well also do remember that if you are adding some kind of a restriction here you will also have to multiply it by the multiplier of the strategy if you do not multiply it by the multiplier uh, it is possible that it may uh, may not work as per your logic in case you go at a higher multiplier so this is one more uh, one more possible combination that you can use position detail with um another way of using position detail would be that let's say you want to num control the number of entries in in a list of stocks so let's assume i have a list of stocks and i want to uh, at max have only let's say five entries in that particular list and my list could be let's say of 25 different instruments in that case what i can do is i can use position detail and in position detail i will select entry since i want to look at the entry and in your in quantity i'll select count and i will leave the underlying as blank you do not need to select the list and i'll add a condition as less than number and i'll select 5 so this way i can use position detail to uh, to restrict the number of uh, the number of uh, instruments in which my strategy can take a trade so it will allow only five unique instruments to be uh, traded in the position detail if it is used this way um i hope uh, i hope this uh, this video on position detail helped you uh, if you need more videos on certain topics you can feel free to dm us or uh, or uh, drop us an email or message it down in the comments we would be happy to take up uh, these kind of logic building uh, strategies and exercises and uh, do like and comment and subscribe to the video uh, and channel it helps us a lot thank you very much